Hi, this is Nick Love with Love Racing. Today we're going to show you how to get started with iRacing car setups, ghost files to race against in your test sessions, and iSpeed telemetry files to see exactly where you're losing time. Now let's get started. If you're starting at the YouTube Hot Laps video, the link found in the description on one of our Hot Lap videos will take you to our resources and downloads page found on the Love Racing website. Go ahead and locate the iRacing section currently found at the bottom of the page. Take note that the location might vary depending on when the website's updated. Selecting the correct car and track combination will take you to a Google Drive folder. This will contain all of the file types you may be interested in downloading. Go to your downloads folder in the file explorer to confirm that you have the files. So here we have two different kinds of ghost files, BLAP and OLAP. These will allow you to race against a ghost during your test sessions. BLAP will be your best overall lap while your OLAP refers to a string of best sectors. Note that the file paths shown are the default settings. These may be different on your computer. After moving the files, return to your downloads in the file explorer to retrieve the car setup which is an STO file. Cut and paste the STO file into the corresponding car folder found in the default file path shown. All right, now it's time to open iRacing, set up a test session, and go race against your new ghost. Open an iRacing test session and verify your desired car, track, and track conditions. Note that different weather conditions will affect what type of lap times you'll be able to set relative to the ghost. Once you're satisfied that everything is correct, enter the test session. Expand the garage menu and select My Setups on the right. Locate, select, and open the setup we just uploaded. If your setup does not appear here, check that the file is saved in the correct location in the aforementioned file directories. Selecting Done will load that setup. You can check your setup in the top right corner again to make sure it's correct. For the ghost files, expand the Options menu and select the Options tab at the bottom of the menu. Find the load button in the split time delta section. It is easy to miss, so look carefully. Locate, select, and open the desired BLAP or OLAP file. Again, if these do not appear, check that the file was saved in the correct location. Find the lap data drop down box and select comparison lap to race against the best continuous lap if you select the BLAP file. Select comparison sector to race against the lap of best sectors if you selected the OLAP file. Make sure that the reference car is selected. This will allow you to see the ghost car on the track. After completing the outlap, the ghost car will appear on the start finish and your practice can begin. After you completed some practice with the ghost car, you may want to look at where you're losing time. To dig down into the details, locate and open the iSpeed Lap Analyzer program. Load up the first lap by looking in the file dropdown and selecting Load Lap 1. Click the Import Lap File button on the bottom left of the dialog box. Open the desired IR Lap file, the last file from our download. The lap can take several moments to load but doesn't have any loading indications. Once loaded, you'll notice the locally stored laps appear with a floppy disk icon, while globally accessible laps appear with a globe icon. Select the desired lap, then click Load Selected Lap. Finally, repeat the process using option Load Lap 2 
compare your laps with Love Racing and people around the world. Thanks for watching. We hope that was enough to get you started with iRacing car setups, ghost files, and iSpeed speed telemetry. This is Nick Love with Love Racing, and if you'd like this video and Love Racing, let us know in the comments below.